Welcome to the Volrath Experience Tour. Some things you probably know Volrath very well for are things like our small wares, cooking utensils and equipment. But in here, instead of talking about that stuff, we're going to go over our great line of serving systems. Uh, we break our serving systems down into four different categories. The first category is a mobile cart. We define a mobile cart as any modular, self-contained piece that can either work on its own or with other things as a food service solution. Our second category is kiosks. Kiosks are designed more for a fixed setting. They're fully enclosed structures with much larger electrical systems than something like a mobile cart has. Our third category is serving lines. Serving lines are great because they can be either long or single lines, great for different food applications like hospitals, schools, and grocery stores. They can be either for full service or self-service, and they can also focus on any particular type of food you need. Our fourth category is retail merchandising units, and these are much larger than kiosks. They're typically for retail merchandising units, 15 to 20 foot long, 8 to 10 foot wide. They do often have their own floors which would fold up and tops which fold down when you move them because these are mobile units which would travel on things like a flatbed truck. Now we'll go over to show you four different um, case studies that we've done, some of the awesome models we've created. The first one is of mobile carts. This mobile cart in particular is one we did for the New York Yankees. During this project, we actually built over 100 carts for them at their new stadium. In this kiosk is one we've developed for Orange Leaf. It features such things like our stolting units, as well as the high definition tile vinyl graphics. Our serving lines, these are our third category, and this is a beautiful one we did for Ohio State. And as you see, it's that typical U or horseshoe shape. You notice that radius at the end? That's something we do very well at Bullrath. We can do many different designs, shapes, and sizes. And then our fourth category, again, is the retail merchandising units. And this is a great one. This is one we did for Goose Island. They're typically taking this unit to different festivals, lots of music festivals, um, using it to not only sell the beer that they sell, also their retail merchandise. Next, we're going to talk about our full service process because we are designing, engineering, and manufacturing your entire piece. The first step is going to be the consultation. That's where you're going to meet with your local sales manager and he's going to want to know your vision, budget, and goals. Step two is going to be research. This is when our team of industrial engineers and designers are going to come up with the best solution for your project that's within your budget. At this point, we're also going to want to know the things like when you would expect to take delivery and that type of stuff. Step three is going to be your mechanical designs. That's where we're going to get you these lovely CAD drawings. These are the two-dimensional drawings where we're making sure all the pieces of the puzzle that is your unit will fit together. Step four is going to be the visual design. That's where we're going to get you the renderings. These are going to be the three-dimensional pieces where you can even go on a great tour of what your unit is going to look like when it's complete. Then step five is the execution. You're also going to be assigned a project manager. Your project manager is your one point of contact for everything that's being designed, engineered, and created. He's going to be there under the same roof as the engineers, the electricians, the plumbers. Everybody under one roof makes for a streamlined, stress-free process with lots of quality control along the way. And then step six is going to be the support. Since we're the ones that are already going to be cleaning, packing, and inspecting your project, we can also be the ones that go out there and install the unit for you if that's something you would like us to do. And now I'll walk you through our four different product lines. The first is going to be the 6 Series, or our V-Class Custom. This is our highest level of customization because this unit is completely fabricated. It comes with a two-year parts and labor warranty. We have the most options for base construction materials. Then when it comes to things like countertop materials, decor materials, and equipment, anything you want or need in this project, we can put it in there for you. Next is going to be our 4 Series, or Signature Server. This is more of a standard item with modifications. In this, you do have lots of different modular shapes, designs, and sizes, but it is not fully customizable. Next, we have our two series, or affordable portable. This is more of a standard item. You do have a couple different color choices with it, but that's about it. And then lastly, we do have our back of house unit, also known as the serve well. This is a standard item, but you can add the different things like plate rests, breath guards, and work shelves to it. And this is really for back of house or warm food holding. Now we'll talk about how you can customize your six series. Some of the options you have is going to be things like our wood composite material or our solid wood if your project is going to be indoors. The wood composite material is a thick manufactured wood with layers of laminate on either side. That allows you to have any type of look, be it a raw wood look or maybe a flat look. For our solid wood, it's more of a high-end look. 
This type of units would be more for designed for a fixed setting. We can really finish the wood in any way you would like, custom matching any stain as well. So if your project is going to be outdoors, we have great options like stainless steel. At Fullrath, we use tons and tons of stainless steel every year. It's always at least the 300 series 18 gauge stainless steel, and we all know how great of a product stainless steel is. We can use it for things like our unibody design or our heavy duty frames. We also have aluminum composite material as a great option. This is our aluminum composite material. It consists of three layers, a layer of aluminum, a core of polyethylene, and another layer of aluminum. All three of these all sandwiched together in one product gives us a really great finish. With this, we can do different things like build a unibody design to your project, as well as everything is nice and light. So doing things like our radiuses in mobile carts, absolutely perfect with this aluminum composite material. Where you're seeing all of these lines, well, this is where the laser was told by our CAD drawings that we need a corner. So essentially, when you're building a unibody design with this aluminum composite material, we are just bending it to create the unibody frame of the project. Now moving on to the different decor materials we can use. We have laminates as an option. We can paint, of course, because we have a full automotive grade paint booth. So that means we can custom match any paint you need. We have vinyl graphics. Our vinyl graphic facility is phenomenal. Not only can we use this for things like branding, we can also do things like tiles, all in the vinyl graphics. We also have unique decor. A great example will be a project we just did. If you want to use a reclaimed barn wood in your project, that's perfect. We can accommodate any type of unique decor you may need. Next, I'd like to show you guys a great example of our six series that we custom built for our Volrath Experience Tour. This is here. What we chose to use for our base construction materials is ACM, the aluminum composite material, which you'd see underneath in there. For the face of it, we chose to use a wood composite material. And then our countertop we picked is laminate, and we chose a nice raw wood look for the laminate. Something that sets us apart as a fabricator is not only do we build your whole serving system, we also build the equipment that goes in it. Now I'm gonna walk you through some of the different pieces of equipment that we have in our truck. So this first piece of equipment we have is our forced air cold drop-in. We do this much different than other units out there in the market because we push air gently from both sides, creating an actual curtain of air that protects your food from the warm temperatures up above instead of pushing it so strong from one side, trying to get over to the other. What we're seeing here is some, the, this is where the warm air is being brought in down below. And then all of it is then conditioned and cooled under here. On that end, you see a drain. And then over here, we have a thermometer. But since we do have that nice forced cold air curtain, that means we have an NSF 7 rated unit with only a one inch drop as opposed to the typical three inch drop of other NSF 7 rated units. Something to know, all the stainless steel that we use is always made right here in the USA and all of our drop-ins come UL listed with that cord and plug so we're ready to go as soon as you receive it. The next things we'll talk about is our hot wells. With our hot wells we have two options. We have our standard steam wells and then now we also have our dry wells. Some options we have for our steam wells is going to be things like manifolding the drain. We can offer you infinite or thermostatic controls and we also have a really great autofill system that will fill up to 12 wells all at once. With our dry well, it's really a great option for any situation where you don't want to have to deal with drain, plumbing, or that messy water to clean up at the end of the night. We have both options because we can offer you the versatility for whatever situation you prefer. Next, we have our breath guards. We have three different styles of breath guards. This one we're seeing here is contemporary, but we can really customize breath guards in many different ways with powder coating them any color. Lots of other options with our breath guards. The next drop-in we'll talk about is gonna be our hot cold drop-in. This one is really a great unit. Not only do we have a hot well right beside a cold well, each of these wells are actually independently controlled. So as you see here, it's as simple as the flick of a switch. Red is hot blue is cold. If you want to switch from one temperature to the other, simply flip down, give it 45 minutes to an hour and you'll be up at the next temperature. This unit is NSF 7 rated, but since we don't have that curtain of air, that means you do have that typical NSF 7 3 inch drop. But to make life a little easier, we did develop these awesome pan lifters. So this way you're never going to have to worry about going in there with a knife, trying to pry those hotel pans, scratching up your entire unit. And those do come standard. Something we have as, as an option with our hot cold well is going to be an auto drain. 
When you have auto drain, simply flip down from hot to cold because of course with the hot we need that water in there with the steam. With auto drain, as soon as we flip down to cold, that water is going to be automatically removed. If you do not select the auto drain, however, you're gonna, the operator is going to be responsible for manually pulling a plug and making sure all of that water is gone before it could turn into an ice block in that system. So keep in mind, auto drain is really a great option. So this is that autofill unit that I mentioned that will fill up to 12 wells all at once. Something that sets ours apart from others is that instead of using a typical electrical probe in there, we use a float system. The reason we don't use an electrical probe, because after about six months or so, all that calcium and hard water buildup is gonna deposit on that electrical probe and it tends to fail. So we went back to basics, using a simple float system. This does come as a separate unit and you can actually mount this either right beside your wells or maybe if you have an extra electrical plug at the other end of your project, you can install it there and then just run your flexi hose all the way to your wells. Next thing we're gonna talk about is what makes our wells different. It, that's the insulation. We are very, very proud of the insulation that we use. This insulation is gonna be our sprayed in foam insulation. This is what we use for all of our cold wells. When we spray this in, it creates a one piece igloo shell and it expands in there, really not allowing any of that cold air whatsoever to escape. But when it comes to our hot wells, this is the stuff we're using. This is not a fiberglass, nor do we insulate as most companies do. Um, most of the time you typically see what's equivalent to a fiberglass blanket thrown over the top of the elements. The reason we don't do that is because fiberglass comes in contact with a little bit of moisture and humidity and the stuff flattens out like a pancake, becomes completely useless. So that's why we're using this dense engineered foam because it's not affected by that moisture or humidity whatsoever. We're also not just throwing the insulation over the top of the elements. We actually cut five pieces for each one of the hot wells. One for the very bottom, and then one for each of the four sides. Since we're doing that, that gives us two really great benefits. The first benefit from that is gonna be the fact that all Volrath wells are zero clearance. And we achieve that because of insulating the sides of our wells, none of that warm air is escaping and creating this exterior piece to get so hot that it could possibly crack or damage the countertop. That means no more wood kits, heat tape, or two inch clearance. The second really great benefit we get from our insulation is gonna be the fact that it makes our wells more energy efficient. Since we're insulating those sides completely, that means none of that warm air that our elements are creating is escaping. That allows for our elements to only be 625 watts, as opposed to the typical 1,000 watt units out there. Well, we're, capable, we're able to do that because none of that warm air is escaping therefore making our wells more energy efficient. The next thing we're gonna talk about is some of our dispensers. This first one is our lid saver. With this lid saver, one lid comes out at a time. And with that, that means each lid is sanitary. No one has touched this lid. And also that allows for a lot of savings because your lids aren't end up all over the floor making a mess. Next dispenser we have is our cups. One cup comes out at a time every time. Again, sanitary and neat. And of course, we also have the options for napkins, one napkins dispensed at a time. The next thing we're gonna talk about is induction. This first one is our induction warmer. This induction warmer is not only a sleek, classy look to it, it's available at neither countertop or drop-in. One of the really great benefits is that it actually only draws three amps per unit. What that means for you, that means you can daisy chain two sets of three units together on one 15 amp plug. That allows you to have a lot of versatility with where you're actually setting these units up. Also, you can add things like your Miramar display cookware where you can both bake a casserole in here and then set it out on your induction warmer and you're good to go for a really nice, classy look. The next piece of induction we're gonna talk about is our induction soup well. And this is a big game changer in soup. First thing you're seeing here is the fact that no water is necessary. That means no drain, no plumbing, no mess to clean up at the end of the night. Inside here, you're seeing three points of contact. The three points of contact are three areas in which we're actually checking the temperature. And if we ever detect a difference from temperature from one side to the other, a spoon would actually appear on our nice little display letting you know you have to mix it. And the only thing this doesn't do for you is actually mix it for you. We're pretty much taking care of everything else. The next thing we're seeing are all these coils wrapped all the way around our induction soup well. Well, those coils are actually sending the induction pulses to your induction-ready soup well inset. 
Some of the best benefits of this induction soup well is the fact that induction is so very controllable. So when we set this at 130 degrees, it will either go up one degree or down one degree. Never higher, never lower. That gives us a really great benefit. That means we're no longer getting all those spikes in temperature, which would normally give you that yucky burn ring all the way around or that weird film over the top of your soup. Well, none of that's ever gonna happen in our induction soup wells. We also give you four different settings. Our four settings are chili, soup, cream soup, and a mac and cheese. What those four preset settings are, essentially just different temperatures because you're not gonna heat a mac and cheese like you would a soup. A really great option we have in this is also a rethermalizer. When you have the rethermalizer, not only will you get up to the 165 within the 90 minutes as NSF requires, we're also gonna automatically set your food back down to the temperature that you set as a holding. So as soon as it gets to 165, it's gonna jump back to that 130. So you never have to worry about the employee forgetting to go back and lower the temperature on that regular soup well. A great example of the yield improvement you can expect from our soup wells comes from a grocery store chain that was receiving 65% yield out of their wells until they switched to these induction ready soup wells and they're now receiving a 97% yield. But the next induction piece we're gonna talk about is our induction downdraft vent module. This is a really great self-contained unit with its own ANZEL suppression system. This unit we worked over two years. We developed all of this technology as well as got many different listings and classifications. One of the most notable ones is the UL 710B listing. That listing tells us not only are we a completely self-contained unit, but we also have zero clearance and zero restrictions. With this unit, the, we have two different filters. The first filter, it's gonna be this one, and this is designed to go right into the dishwasher. The second one is gonna be a charcoal filter. You would change this charcoal filter with the same consistency you would a hood filter. All depends what you're cooking and how much you're cooking it. The other things we're seeing in here is gonna be a grease trough, and then this whole entire piece does come right out to make cleaning it very, very simple. Of course, all of the air and the grease that you're creating while cooking is being drafted down below. Well, when this air is coming back out, not only is it odorless, it will never stain any carpet or flooring, and it comes out evenly distributed. So this way, the guests that could all be standing around your unit will never feel warm air blowing on their ankles, because of course, this is made for display cooking. Not only just for omelets, stations, or for finished cooking, any type of application. The options you have for these induction ranges are gonna be either two induction ranges, and with that, it would only draw 30 amps on a regular 120 plug. If you wanted only one induction range, you could choose for the second side to either be an induction warmer or a blank prep station. Those are really the only options you have right now for different units inside our downdraft venture module. When it comes to things like the size, we cannot change the footprint. However, we can change the different decor materials you use. So you can select any different countertop or many different laminate or decor options. When it comes to the height of this piece, right now it sits at 22 inches. You could choose to have it set down to 18 inches so it would cover those Ansel pieces. Now we'll talk about some of the finishing touches we can add to your serving system with things like the electrical and the plumbing. Not only do we have full UL listed electrical shop, we have licensed plumbers as well. We can also do little things like this, like mobile hand washing things. These are great for any mobile carts, kiosks that might not have any plumbing close by, but you need to make sure you have the ability to wash your hands and keep everything nice and sanitary. With that, we offer a five gallon clean tank and seven gallon drain tank, and this is all very customizable. Next, with things like the electrical, we offer single point connection. So that means each unit is gonna have its own load center. So you're always gonna have that electrical panel at the end of each and every unit. As for the other electrical components we can add to your serving system, we can do the little things like the digital menu boards, like the backlit menu boards, even the lighting. And of course, adding things like the canopies and overheads really sets the ambiance and the mood in your serving system. And I know I just threw a lot of different information at you, but don't worry, because we have a great list of common configurations on fullwrath.com. So this way you can look at all the different types of serving systems. So you can literally pick and choose from different things you may like or dislike. And always know that we have bullwrath.com as the ultimate resource for all things you may need. And I just wanna thank you very much for taking the time to listen and learn about our Bullwrath Experience Tour.